Well, hello everyone. Today we are filming the long-awaited Thuman sister cross-country move Charleston apartment video. Wow, that feels good to say. It has been a long time coming. Aaron and I moved in on April 1st into our apartment and it has been a work in progress since then to really finalize everything in here. I'm even more excited to say that we have been working with Pottery Barn Teen on our apartment. I grew up obsessed obsessed with Pottery Barn Teen. I mean, I literally bulldozed my mom into absolutely everything on there when I was 12 years old. If you remember my first YouTube video, my comforter and everything in my room was Pottery Barn Teen. So to now, you know, be 21 years old, living across the country and working with Pottery Barn Teen is very, very surreal. I don't wanna keep you guys too long because I feel like we should just get into it, but I'm just going to go over the apartment with you guys today with Erin and really show you everything that has made this place a home for us. So. Without further ado, let's let's get right into it. <laughs> that was pretty quirky. Come on in. It's about time. We finally show you guys. Let's wait for the door to slowly crack in the back. There it is. I feel like this came together very authentically. It wasn't something we really planned for at first, but it ended up becoming like, I feel like the main piece. You walk in, this is the first thing you see. Tell me it doesn't look homey. Tell me. Aaron, tell me it doesn't look homey. A little clustery for my liking, but it's homey. <laughs> so this is our Pottery Barn Teen pin board here. We actually have a couple of these throughout the apartment. And so when we put this one up, we were like, how and what do we want to put on this? I feel like we obviously travel a lot and it's really fun to collect souvenirs, but sometimes you don't really know what to do with like the little postcards. I have like my Coachella and Stagecoach wristbands. We have like photo booth pictures keychain that I got. We didn't even get that. I was Nashville. Nashville. We just have kind of like an array of everything. We have like the ET. I think we got those in Wyoming. That's my favorite thing on the pin board is the ET from like the license plate. We also have like my room key, which was from like a really special trip for me. A lot of like fun little like Charleston little cards and poster boards. Now let's come on this way to another fun little part. This is what I like to call the, um, what's it called? The Zona wall. The Zona wall. This is our area of the apartment that we honor and love. Our home, Arizona. Arizona girls. <laughs> this is the um, Arizona wall. We have Grand Canyon State Candle that our mom surprised us with before we moved. We have this really fun um, Arizona um, little like desert floral animal scorpion. It's basically like all like the biodiversity like from Arizona. Heel monster <laughs> that took me a minute. Sorry, I was like thinking the Arizona was out of me. That damn heel monster. Anyways, this is like our fun little thing. We have a picture of the family on here of us at the Grand Canyon, and then Aaron and I did a photo shoot announcing our move. And so we have that picture of us with our little cowboy hats. Yeah, that's making me stress even opening that. Yeah, close up. Let's go over the swimming. <laughs> All right, coming over here, we have the first little area in the kitchen. This is also very fun. So this is our pottery barn little storage cabinet here. So this is our Pottery Barn Callum storage cabinet. We actually have a couple of these scattered throughout the apartment, which is so fun because it's the perfect size for when you just want an area to store things on, but it's like you can also move them around or make it one big piece. And so we kind of have them a little bit everywhere. So this one here, we have our little seashell where we put all of our car keys and just like random stuff in the jar. And then we also have this area where Erin has printed out her company and she has little match matches and she's been collecting those which is really wholesome of her that took you a second <laughs> i like, couldn't like, get my I, like a... I was struggling thank you for noticing Aaron. i actually learned how to shuck oysters last summer and i feel very passionate about it and oyster roasting season is coming in charleston and you already know i'll be in there gloves knife all of it shucking my oysters anyways i have been trying to collect all my boarding passes starting this year when i went to puerto rico for my si shoe i was like you know what I can do a mobile boarding pass or when I go up and get, you know, my printed. Instead of throwing it away, I want to collect them. So I've collected every single boarding pass and put them in this little jar. And I think that's really special to look back at one day. Not the prep done. This is called adulting. All right, next up over here, we have our kitchen. We got the oven, we got the microwave. This is one of my favorite parts. Um, we have these really cute oyster towels. One of my favorite parts of the kitchen here is just like those little details because I feel like we both agree we didn't really want like a super clustered kitchen like area because I feel like the counter space, you always think you have a lot until it's like you're putting these things down and then it's like where do I put stuff. Nothing makes a home or kitchen more cozy than having fruit in a bowl. Until it gets moldy. 
but you gotta just stay on top of it or get fake fruit. Then we have this really cute thing of our utensils, our air fryer, our Amazon Echo. That kind of terrifies me because I feel like it's always listening to me and I don't love that. And then our cookbook that our mom gave us when we moved here. She made it of all of our childhood like recipes and made this whole thing and had Will and my dad write something in it. Anyways, now let's head over to the living room. Another very exciting area here. <laughs> Wait, that's cool. We learned the hard way um, to not shut the windows. So basically, we were really excited because we love the natural lighting in here, but for filming purposes, <laughs> it can be really sketchy because it's literally showing. You can see like everything. Everything. So this is our Pottery Barn Teen couch. I'm obsessed with this because each piece is individual and I love that you can really grow it or shape it to your own like desire. I feel like if you have like a bigger space for a bigger couch. We actually just got another piece added to it because we realized we had more space, which is really nice because sometimes you don't really know until you're in a space how big of a couch you want. It's also very, very comfortable. And I love like the neutral color because we love adding pillows and blankets and kind of spice it up for each season. For our coffee table here, we actually have the Pottery Barn Teen Costa Lounge Table, which I personally think is an amazing shape. I feel like we always add something new on there. And I also love that the color matches the couch, like a very neutral area so you can spice it up with decor on top and around it to add some color. Then we have this mirror, which I'm obsessed with. You'll see when we get to my room, like the kind of theme that I went for. We saw this on Pottery Barn Teen and we both freaked out because it's just like a very classy mirror and I feel like it's a step up from just your regular, you know, life-size mirror. Like I feel like it's very, very cool and it can fit in a lot of different kind of themes in your apartment or house. I don't know. I just feel like it's the perfect piece. We take so many pictures in that mirror. Over here, we have another little tribute to our Western core. Some super cute little like olive coasters. We have a fun little like cowboy boot with toothpicks. Just like those small little fun details that I think just makes so add so much to this place. And then like the little Himalayan vases down there, the dried lemons. Sorry, my, I'm having like acid reflux. You good? Ah, my tummy hurts. All right guys, it's my turn to be behind the camera and we are gonna go and make Erin show us her room because she was very proud of this and she needs to have her moment. <laughs> Stand by. <laughs> are you nervous? <laughs> Explain the whole, I'm getting like like flustered. I don't have it so close to me. So original, it's not Ellie. Our original apartment, I was supposed to be in the office because I was only gonna stay for three months, which is actually really funny now that it's been six months. And so then I got a dorm bed, which is just funny because it's like, hi, it's from Pottery Run Team too. Which and look at the storage on this, sorry, but like, if insane. you're actually in a dorm, oh. <laughs> I'm just gonna blur that, okay? I'm gonna blur it. I'm gonna hit it with that blur. Anyways. <laughs> The storage is absolutely amazing, and but it is funny because I run and jump onto it because I wasn't expecting to be upgraded and be staying here full time, I guess. Um, Originally, she painted this as Aaron's nook. Because it was just gonna be like a little office, so I thought it'd be quirky to still hang that. I love this bedding. This, be this bedding's part of our routine. Literally obsessed with it. I get so many comments at <laughs> Okay, then um, if you know me at all, which <laughs> none of us do. <laughs> you probably don't. Um, I love my mood boards, and so, I printed out all the pictures of what I wanted like my Charleston life to look like and I had these from now like February and it's actually so cool how like each thing's come to life like I started wearing my hair curly um zoom in on the hair it's like wearing my hair it's like ratty you know um <laughs> I feel like this is like Pinterest girl <laughs> She's a Pinterest Charleston girl so um mirror Potter Martin team yeah this mirror's super cute um, I don't know where anything else is from, but... Show us this little storage area. So then this, <laughs> this is basically my nightstand that I have to jump off my bed just to put like my water down, <laughs> uh, charge my phone, charge my computer, grab my journal. I have to literally like jump. I've tried to reach a couple times. It just doesn't work. The, the parkour show. Oh, uh, American Ninja. It's giving American Ninja Warrior. <laughs> You thought you ate with that? <laughs> she, she glides yeah. across the thought you ate with that. Uh, shower affirmations because of she does. we're all about positivity up in this. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what a weird flex. Papa, show me Dodge. Come on. Me. <laughs> I like throw you out. So this is what's kind of nice um, for me and Erin to have our alone time <laughs> away from each other. She has her area of the apartment and this is my area of the apartment, which I love. We gotta come back to that. 
Okay, first off here, I just want to show this. The most incredible local painter painted me this, and it is me back here in November when I first knew I wanted to live here. She painted me this picture, and this was like an actual photo of me that I took at Folly Beach, and I think it's just like so incredible that she did this for me. <laughs> I'm feeling sick. <laughs> no, I'm like actually like delusional. Then I have this really fun box that actually was like a PR box, and I decided to what the use it. <laughs> Standing on it. I have just like extra shoes, heels, boots. Let's go to my room now, shall we? Alright, this is the area that Ellie likes to hibernate, and it makes it really hard for me to actually leave my apartment and do anything in Charleston because I just love being in here so much. And that was really my goal with it is to just make a safe place that I never want to leave. So I just have like pajamas, different filming equipment, my hats, a lot of different things in here. And then I have oh, why don't we just why are we pulling out books, dude? Oh, <laughs> Martha Stewart? Oh, <laughs> what are you saying? Girl. Wait, I take all that back. I didn't realize that was, um. Now you're not realizing what this is. You're pulling out one of your journals. I was like, what are we reading? No. But you had it on your nightstand. There it is. Why is that not framed in the apartment? She needs to be blown up on the big We screen. have a big poster of that. So this is actually the um, notebook theater that is in downtown Charleston and it was custom made for me. And it says, hey darling, the world is your oyster, which you know is like my like life quote. So that is very crazy and beautiful to have in here. And then we've also been collecting some like playing cards and different fun things. Then I just have all of my like carry on travel bags because there was really nowhere to put them. So I have these super cute little golden um, hooks from Pottery Barn Teen, which I love. I feel like my room has a lot of gold accent in it. And so when I saw those, I was like, I don't know what I'm gonna hang on them but they're going to look amazing in my room. So now we have entered my favorite place in my room. I have gotten so many questions about where I got my bed frame from, my nightstand, but especially my comforter, which is so funny because I was waiting to kind of announce everything when I told you guys I was working Pottery Barn Teen and this whole bed, everything here is Pottery Barn Teen minus this little whale. That is not Pottery Barn Teen. He grabs the whale stuff. <laughs> I also have my floral sheets under it, which I also get so many questions on and I'm obsessed with these. I will keep these literally for so long. I think they are so cute. They were in the collab with Love Shack Fancy, which is actually really cool because I've been a huge fan of Love Shack Fancy for years. So seeing that they were collabing with Pottery Martin was so cool. Same with my chandelier up here. That is also a part of that collab. I think it also ties in the gold with my headboard and my nightstand so well. And I also love that my headboard here and like my whole bed frame has a lot of storage as well because as we know, I need the storage. On my nightstand, I just have my books, my oil diffuser, my lamp, a cute little picture, and that is really all there is to that. And then my photo wall here, which I'm so proud of, I wanna show you guys. I have artwork from honestly everywhere, but I think the one that I'm most proud of is over here. A lot of these are just like oysters, cowboy boot, a lot of just like Western kind of pieces that we've seen throughout the apartment. This one I actually got when I was in Wyoming, and it's like a little scratch off like a lottery ticket, but you scratch off when you've been to a place. And so there was ironically so many on here that I'd gone to and what's really crazy about it is there's like maybe four cities in America on here one of them being Charleston I'm not kidding you I knew it was meant to be and so I brought this back with me had it all rolled up and then we just have some cute little oysters up there I just love this I think it's very me very very cozy over here we have my dresser which I love that these pieces came individually because you're able to kind of move them and it's a lot easier when you're in the actual moving process so these actually match the nightstand and my bed frame and then with that I just have a lot of gold accents I have this really cute little gold mirror little tray and then I have an oyster on it a seashell candle and just some cute little knickknacks that I've collected and then over here I just have some more fun little things I also had like a special meeting with dragonflies so this is like my little tribute to dragonflies over in this corner all right so in the bathroom here I feel like we don't need to go too much in depth I have like my vitamins I take each day my water flosser guys this thing I'm not kidding you is my favorite thing ever like it's so good. I don't know why I've spent the last 21 years without one, but now that I have it, it is like my baby. I love this so much. And then over here, we have my little photo wall, which actually just fell off. It normally hangs up, but I thought this was so fun to have in here. It's like all my friends, my family. This just makes me 
really happy whenever I'm going to the bathroom to look to the left of me and see all my people on this. Shower affirmations as well, and then my swimsuits hanging up on the shower. All right, that's really all there is to the bathroom. Next. <laughs> all right, so the last room in the apartment is the very unexpected room that we didn't really account for at first. So, you know, we have a little bit of everything in here. We have it as the closet, the little workspace here, this powder burn teen desk and chair is magical. I've always dreamed of having a little area like this. And so I was so excited when I was able to design this room. So over here, I have this really cool little storage thing for shoes, tech stuff. And then I have some shelves of all my cameras. I have storage for my desk, this really cool lamp right there. I have my little hat wall because we know Ellie loves her hats. So I got these like little sticky things on Amazon and all my hats. Why are you laughing behind the camera? Do you not like my hat wall? No, it's just like adorable. Like I'm crying. Thank you. Then I have my clothing rack here which i never realized how useful and helpful having one of these is because it just is a nice way to have all of your clothes out in front of you or at least pieces that you kind of need like that so this is very much coming in clutch all the time this is also a very proud area in the apartment this is my little denim ladder of all of my jeans cargo pants i feel like this is a really nice way to store jeans because it can be very difficult because they're very bulky so if you put them in a drawer you're not getting much space this is really nice because you can layer them and it's also like a really cute way to decorate like a space your closet more hats hanging above it which is really fun and then i have my cowboy hats over here with my cowboy hook <laughs> well everyone um there we have it that is my apartment thank you for watching if you've made it this far i know we are both very proud of this space and we're very grateful to pottery martin for helping us you know, make our dream place come to life. Very grateful to be here and finally get to show you guys this place without it just being some random mystery. So I hope you guys enjoyed or maybe took some inspiration from a thing or two you saw in here. Charleston girl. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>